What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys another guide for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how to item duplicate and on top of that, get unlimited money. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy today's video and want to support the channel, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of the guides and my playthrough for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. But all that you need to in order to do this glitch or duplication is a couple arrows or virtually one arrow if you don't mess up but i recommend grabbing a couple arrows and three bows that is all you need and on top of that you're going to need the item that you want to duplicate in this tutorial i am going to be using the diamond right here the reason i want to use the diamond is because it is a high value item with a high fuse power and it sells for a lot so that's how we're going to get a limited money we're going to be able to duplicate items and be able to sell them at a high price and keep doing this constant rinse and repeat and get unlimited rupees within this game so yeah i'm going to be using a diamond it is probably the most valuable item i have in this game considering i haven't beaten this game yet so diamond it's going to work well it's going to work well so for this tutorial, I'm going to go through it slow and then I'm going to showcase it maybe a couple times and then do it at my speed just to showcase how fast you can actually just rinse, repeat and do this. But what you want to do is actually take out your bow and arrow, pull it back and fuse the item that you want to duplicate. So again, I'm going to be using a diamond. You're going to pull it back, you're going to fuse it and then you're going to hit B so you can walk around with the diamond on your arrow. So right now I have, I'm hitting no buttons. I'm hitting no buttons. So from here, then you want to hit the plus button. Go into your inventory, go over to your bows, and drop the one that you were holding. As you guys can see, it has a diamond at the end of it because that's the this is the bow that I just fused the diamond onto. So I'm going to drop it, and I'm going to equip a brand new bow. So I'm equipped a new bow. It doesn't have the diamond on it. Now from here, this is where it gets a little tricky. You want to hit plus and plus, like back to back, where you close out the menu and pull it up really, really fast. And if you do it right, the item that you were trying to duplicate is now going to be on this bow on this menu screen. So let me try it. Hit plus plus, plus plus, back to back, just like that. And as you guys can see, the diamond is chilling there. It is on there. So that's how you know I did it right. From here, you just drop this bow. You equip the new bow. You go back out by hitting B and you turn around and you pick up your bows. So I should have 13 diamonds, which I do now. I start off with 12. I just duplicated another one. So let me do it one more time for you guys. We're going to put this arrow on here. We're going to hit B. We're going to hit the plus button. We're going to drop this bow. We're going to equip the new bow. We're going to hit plus plus. Make sure that your item that you're duplicating is on that arrow now, which it is. I'm going to drop the bow that I'm holding. And I'm going to equip the new one. And then I'm going to hit B. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to pick up my bows. And I'm going to make sure that I have... I should have 14. I guess it messed up. That's a little weird, but... We'll do it one more time. We'll do it one more, one more time. So that one should have worked. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't work and I do it perfectly, but it's all good. So we're just going to attach the bow. We're going to hit the B button. We're going to hit the plus. We're going to go over to our arrows. We're going to drop this one. Equip the new one. Plus, plus. I did not get it. I did not get it on that one. All right. One more time. Third time's charm. So we're going to pull it back. We have 13 diamonds. Cancel it. Drop this one. Pick up a new bow. Plus, plus. Obviously, it's on that end. We're going to drop this bow now. We're going to equip the new one. We're going to hit B, and we're going to turn around, and we're going to pick up everything. And from there, we should have 14 diamonds, which we do. So there it is, guys. You guys can learn it. The more you use it, the quicker you guys will get at it. So you can constantly, it probably takes about 10 minutes to kind of just like learn pretty fast and at a good pace. So once you learn it at a good pace, you can constantly do that and get pretty much unlimited items of whatever you want. But now over to the unlimited rupee part of it, I can go over and now sell these duplicate diamonds, which will give me a ton of rupees. Look, they sell for 500 a piece. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to sell 10 of them. Screw it. Sell 10. Look at that. I just made 5,000 rupees in less than five minutes. Like you, again, once you guys learn it, you guys can do this at a crazy speed and just get virtually unlimited rupees. So I highly recommend doing this, especially early game. Once you find a diamond, you can really get after it. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's guide, make sure you leave a like on it. And like I said, subscribe to the channel so you guys do not miss out on any of my guides. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what other guides you guys would like to see for this game. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.